Welcome back to Let's Play Loom. All right, let's see what the heck this guy is summoning. Who dares disturb the peace of those who sleep? I welcome and greet you, noble spirit. I am Bishop Mandible, transultimate apostle of the anti-secular conclave of clerics. And whom have I the honor of summoning? I don't think I want to be part of this conversation. No one obeyed any summoning of yours, foolish mortal. I have summoned you. I am chaos. You have merely opened the door, and I have passed through it. For this, you shall be rewarded. Join me now. As my slave. I see it has been much too long since my last visit. Okay, that looks like it hurt. Let's get this to staff quickly. I can't seem to hold on to this thing. Well, you better start, dude. That's all I can say. Um, we've already seen what's in the crystal ball. Um, he's missing. Can we go out? There's nowhere to go out here. Did I miss something out here? Hey, now. Stop! Okay, and this is the outside. Welcome to the outside, everybody. The thread is the normal world, or the uh, pattern is the normal world, and this is the out outside of the pattern. And we can see all these little holes and everything that's been ripped in it. Those are all the graveyards that we've seen throughout the game. Except for one. We didn't see that one, but it was there. We could have visited it, but we were, we were close. We just... Didn't go by, I guess. But we don't want to worry about them now. First, we want to worry about what's over here. Welcome, Bobbin. You have joined us here at last. Where am I? You are outside the pattern, the home of the dead, and of those transcended. The shore of wonder? Yes, Bobbin, the shore of wonder. And you are the first to behold it with mortal eye. Oh, really? Wow, that's kind of cool. Your journey has been long, and you must have many questions. You were the swan that appeared each year on my birthday, aren't you? You saw me clearly then. I was never sure. But those visits meant so much. My only chance to watch you grow. You see, the elders forbade me to set foot on Loom Island just after you were born. I thought you came to visit me, but I never quite believed it. Call it a mother's curiosity, for indeed, Loom Child, that is who I am. My mother is a swan? Indeed. In mortal life, however, I was Lady Signa Threadbear, banished by the elders seventeen long years ago for drawing an unforeseen infant out of the loom. How I've longed to know you, and you to know me. My son. Liar. That's just not true. My mother is buried in the weaver's graveyard. Oh, dear Hetchel, she and the elders put that stone there so you wouldn't ask too many questions. Hetchel vowed to protect you forever, Bobbin. She is my dearest friend and she loves you very much. But I fear her love has driven her to recklessness. What do you mean? Where is she? She flew off to Loom Island to confront the dead ones. The dead ones are after her? It's not Hetchel they're after, my son. They want the loom itself. If chaos masters its secrets, the pattern will be hers to control. Hetchel plans to destroy the loom if chaos doesn't consume her first. No, I've got to go back there, now! You won't get far in that direction. The loom lies beyond the lake. No, you must try a more subtle strategy. Oh, what do you propose? The dead ones move between the holes your bishop friend rent in the pattern. If you weave the holes closed, it will be harder for them to follow you. Alright. So 
we got to weave the hole closed. But first, we've got to do something at each one of the holes. Not too difficult, it just stinks having to come all the way out and all the way back. So, let's see what we're up against here. Okay, first things first, we're going to go into this hole. And this is the glass city. Oh no, are you okay, dude? Master Goodmold. Ah, the Weaver Boy. At least you have escaped the terror of the dead ones. It appears the Crystal Guard has not been so fortunate. But I don't understand. Why did you not use the Great Scythe? We never doubted the Scythe would save us. No, never, no indeed. <laughs> Even chaos must fall under its blade. But we could not do it. To unleash such merciless evil would show us to be no better than our enemies. The entire world would have feared us when it was done. And to have become so much like our enemy was unthinkable. <laughs> Just unthinkable. And so you didn't use it. We knew the price. The best we could hope for was to defend it bravely. But we are not warriors. You mean... Chaos stole the scythe? We did what we could. But it was not enough. Remember us, my young friend. Tell the word... But we fought with courage and chose death with clarity above all else. Clarity. Aww. That's too bad. Poor guy. Oh well. Might as well seal up this hole. It's as simple as that. The opposite of the open spell, the closed spell, and it seals it right up. Moving on to the next graveyard. This is the Shepherd's Graveyard. You are too late, wizard. The dead have increased their numbers here. Those not dead are suffering. And my songs were again useless. All that's left for us is to put an end to their misery. Come, and extend your help, if you can. Alright, let's, let's cast the put an end to their misery spell. Otherwise known as the heal spell. among legions of dead. You were saved by the mercy of yonder boy. We have not had the chance to thank you properly, wizard. But our memories are long, and we will not forget you soon. Hail and farewell. Come along now, before the dead ones return to the harvest. All right. Well, that is two holes down. And uh, we will uh, continue on with these next time on Let's Play Loom. See you then, everybody.